it's always a really, really beautiful way to enter into a different world, to help children explore narrative. You can use stories as a way to role play as well. So you can tell stories um, and tell fairy stories and myths and legends. And in these role play of some of these stories, they can uh, start fighting monsters and they can fight witches. They can be in the role of the person who uh, is a victim in the story. They can be in the role of the person who is dying if they wanted to and really feel into these different perspectives that help them release the emotion. So they embody the emotion of the character, but it feels safe because it's a character, it's not them. These emotions, they, they can come out in the story and they can come out in a lovely contained way through role play and embodiment. And therefore they're not spilling out into the community and into home life and getting into trouble at home because they've had the, the opportunity to fight the monster here within the, within the story. So some of the books that brought here today are books that focus particularly on grief and grieving um, or on missing somebody very special in, in the family or, um, or in the wider community. Uh, the book that you'll be hearing from later is The Invisible String and it talks about how we're all connected even when we're apart, um, including strings that go to heaven. Um, Rabbitness is another really beautiful book for younger children as well um, uh, that talks about the joy of having this rabbit in uh, the community and then rabbit disappears and how everybody grieves rabbit's disappearance but how they also find all the tools and beautiful creative methods of expression that rabbitiness has left behind.